Unfortunately, we're not used to it being cold like this for this long in Tampa Bay. It might not warm up until Sunday, which means no reprieve for our hair, right? Here's the deal. We talked to some of our sister stations up north about what this cold weather does, not only to your car, but also your wallet. First off, you might find yourself spending a little bit more in gas because cold weather reduces your mileage. It's about 12% lower at 20 degrees than it would be at 77 degrees, what we usually like here in Tampa Bay. And you're really not going to like this one. When you're driving around town in that slow and go traffic, that drops your fuel efficiency by about 22%. That's because your car has a hard time running when it's cold outside. It feels nice to get my fingers on those warm vents. And I know a lot of you like to warm up your car before you get into it, but here's a news flash. If you turn it on and just idle it, well, guess what? That also lowers your fuel efficiency. Most car manufacturers basically tell people, drive around pretty slowly for about 30 seconds right when you turn the car on. It makes everything warm up faster and the heat works better. And something else you might want to be mindful of, your car battery and your tires don't perform the same in cold weather as they do in the heat, especially here in Florida. So you just wanna be mindful when you're blasting that heat, taking off really quickly right after you start that car. Oh, and one more thing. It is illegal to idle your car without anyone inside of it here in Florida and most states for that matter. See, it's right here in black and white. The only way it wouldn't be illegal is if you're starting your car with a remote control and the doors are all locked.